everyone and welcome to today's General Hospital reaction. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or reactions. Spencer's back! Yay! Um, as always, adorable. And now he has a Phantom of the Opera mask on. Well, I mean, it's to heal his wounds, but he looks like the Phantom of the Opera. I'm just saying. And um, while Spencer, I believe he goes to his room or wherever, the butler comes in and gives Nicholas the engage no, the wedding ring. Uh, he found it in the laundry, so Nicholas is like, hey, thanks, and puts it in the safe, and while he's putting it in the safe, Spencer catches him, and he's like, what's that, what's that, what's that, and Nicholas is like, um, it's a thing, and Spencer's like, is it an heirloom, and Nicholas is like, sure, <laughs> you know, and meanwhile, uh, Sonny comes to visit, and Spencer originally, he's not too keen on having any... Uh, visitors, but he's happy that Sonny's visiting him, and Sonny gives him the robe, like, another robe, why is this freaking out, uh, gives him another robe to replace the one that got lost in the fire, and Spencer's still upset that Cameron started the fire, and he wants to have the townie put in jail, or whatever, and Spencer, again, is out of control with this Emma thing, and Sonny, gives him some good advice, just a little bit, and, you know, Sonny should really take his advice and, like, you know, apply it to his own life, because it might help, and Spencer doesn't want to go to his doctor's appointment, so Nicholas is like, all right, fine, I'll go alone just this once, but then, you know, you have to go to your doctor's appointments, and Spencer breaks, well, he doesn't, like, break into the safe, but pretty much, and, um, he finds the ring, and it says Alan Quartermain on it, so, I'm, like, foreseeing that he gives the ring to Emma, and then, you know, now Sam lives in the house with them, and Sam's going to see it, and the whole thing's just going to explode. Thinking of Sam, uh, Sam is a bit skeptical, skeptical of this whole Jake has a wife thing, too, and then she moves the last of her stuff out of the house and goes to Patrick's, presumably. She didn't make it there yet. Um, meanwhile, Patrick tells Emma that Sam and Danny are moving in, like, you know, the day of, because that's really considerate, and Emma, at first, she's not, like, the best, like, she's not super okay with it, but she eventually gets on board with the idea. And at the hospital, Jake stops by to tell Elizabeth that he's staying in Port Charles. And Elizabeth tells Jake about R that Rick and her talked about, like, the whole getting back together and whatever thing. And, um, then when Jake leaves, Hayden comes over to tell Liz to stay away from Jake and lies about how much they reconnected like, a lot, and Hayden mentions Rick, kind of, and I don't know, that might have tipped Elizabeth off initially a, a little bit, but Hayden covers it up pretty good and says that Jake told her about Rick, and, um, then makes a few comments about Elizabeth not going after a married man, m man, and I'm like, dear Hayden, have you met Elizabeth? Married men aren't exactly an anomaly for her. Just saying. Um, speaking of Rick, Rick and Hayden before that have a meeting. And as Hayden leaves, Cameron comes in. So there's a little connection right there. And Cameron decides he talks to Rick and he wants to retain Rick as his lawyer. Mm -hmm. And after Rick drops Cameron off at school, he comes by the hospital to tell Elizabeth what happened uh, with Cameron. And then he winds up kissing Elizabeth. And when he leaves, Nicholas comes over, and uh, Elizabeth tells Nicholas all about how Jake's wife showed up, and Nicholas is super confused. And Elizabeth had a pretty, pretty busy day, and she didn't even, like, work at all. She just talked to people. And at the garage, Julian and Sean, uh, there's harsh words exchanged between Julian and Sean, and Sean and company are taking Julian away and Jake comes in and takes them all out and saves Julian and Jake offers his less legit skills to Julian uh, but Julian offers to let Jake run the garage since Johnny Zakar is a fugitive and Jake after Julian leaves Jake is looking at a motorcycle and is starting to have memories of Sam and like him and Sam on the motorcycle and talking and then once you know it Sam comes into the garage and I'm like, oh my goodness, Jake, tell her about everything you were just thinking. Oh my goodness, we're like so close to the reveal, but like they're just not giving it to us and it's just not fair. <sighs> In any event, I hope you have a great weekend. If you celebrate Easter, I hope you have a great Easter weekend and I have Passovers this weekend too, right? 
I hope you have a great Passover if you celebrate Passover. I will see you Monday for more Dermal Hospital, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.